guys, welcome back. I'm Bianca and today I'm bringing you a review and a short little demo over the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Palettes. I know, I'm so excited. Now I have had these on my hands for a while now. I want to say I hauled them mid-December when I found them at Bed Bath & Beyond and now I'm seeing them everywhere. Walgreens, Walmart, Target, CVS. So they are in store and you can get your hands on them. So here are the palettes. They come in three shades, light, medium, and deep, which I think is really great that the drug stores are coming out number one with contour palettes and number two they are catering to a wide range of skin tones. The retail value for these palettes are going to differ from store to store and depending on what region you're in. I picked these up at Bed Bath & Beyond for $11.49 and I was able to use a 20% coupon on them so definitely use a coupon wherever you pick them up at. So these palettes are a part of their infallible line which I'm obsessed with the L'Oreal Infallible line. There has not been a product that has come out in this line that I haven't liked yet. And let's just get it out of the way. I absolutely love these contour palettes. The packaging is very sleek and slim. Since it is very slim, it's easy to travel with. It's perfect to keep in your makeup bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this contour palette. When you open it up, it does have a good size mirror. So I just love that about L'Oreal products. They always incorporate a mirror with their products and that is amazing. So here you can see you have your contour shade and your highlight shade. It is in the same pan and it's split diagonally and I really don't care for that at all. I wish that they would have put each shade in their own pan. And it also comes with their Pro Sculpting Brush that I do not like. Number one, it doesn't feel soft. Number two, I did try it out just to give you guys a full in-depth review over this product. You're supposed to dip the brush into the product and apply it like this. Number one, it leaves you looking streaky. You can't really blend with it. So even if you did apply it that way to like hit the marks, if everybody's face is this size, you still have to go in with another brush to blend it out. They could have did without this brush and put the highlight shade and the contour shade here. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about quality and pigmentation of the powders. The powders are not super pigmented, but with that being said, they are definitely very buildable and they're not powdery or chalky, so that's definitely a plus. So they give you the contour shade and they give you the highlight shade. So for me, in the contour palette, I'm gonna use that highlighting shade almost as a setting powder versus like a shimmery highlight. Highlight. So initially when I bought these palettes, I thought that the highlight powder was a powder that you use to like set under your eyes and everywhere that you would use a concealer is where you would use the highlight powder. And it looks like they are trying to make this highlight out to be like a shimmery highlight to give you a glow and I don't get that from this palette. I did use it both ways in the demo. I used one to set my under eye and I used the other one to kind of try to get a glow. And if you get a glow from it, it is that. It's just a natural glow coming from within. It is not a BAM highlight. light shade you have a very beautiful cool contour shade and I know that this is great for very light to fair skin because you don't get any warmth there's no brown base in this contour shade so you if you are light to fair skin tone you are going to love this contour palette okay and if we take a look at the medium shade this contour shade is still very cool but it does have that brown base to it so you are gonna get a very cool contour with just a little bit of warmth coming through. And what I like to do with this palette, this contour shade is too light for me. When I apply it, I look super ashy and muddy, so it's not a cute look, but I love using this highlight shade to set my under eye. It is like a satin finish, so it just kind of brings that beautiful glow under my eyes, and I am wearing it right now, and I love it. Now, the deep contour palette, 
This contour shade is absolutely gorgeous. It is quite deep. This contour shade will work for you if you are my skin tone and about two to three shades darker. I absolutely love it because it does give you that warmth. And personal preference, I don't like an ashy contour shade or a cool gray undertone. I love a beautiful warm contour. I feel like it just complements my skin tone better. And as far as this highlight goes, in the pan, it looks like a beautiful rose gold highlight, but it doesn't have that much pigmentation. I tried to apply it under my eyes and it was too much because it does give off color. So I did apply it to the tops of my cheekbones today. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on camera, but in person, it looks very very subtle it does look like a beautiful natural glow but typically for a highlight that's not the kind of highlight that I go for but I do love the contour so what I like to use is the deep contour shade in the medium highlight shade and I use it as a true contour and highlight palette so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deep hot this pan here and put it in this one so that I only have to open one palette but I absolutely love this. Okay, so my overall thoughts for these contour palettes are, I think they're amazing. I think they're great. I really, really love them. I give them a seven on a scale of one to 10, just because they're not that pigmented, but that's not a bad thing. I think they're ideal for the everyday woman or if you're a beginner on contouring and highlighting because a huge contour palette can be quite overwhelming if you're new to it. So. L'Oreal simplified it and gave you a contour and a highlight shade and that's really all you need. If you're not a beauty junkie, a makeup hoarder, a beauty vlogger, and you're the everyday girl, like this would be perfect for my mom. She has a contour shade and she has a highlight shade. She doesn't need three to five palettes. So back to my scale of one to ten. I definitely give it a seven because the powders aren't very very pigmented but they are buildable and they are easy to blend. Even though the packaging looks quite large, you don't get a lot of product. And I really don't like the way they set up the powders by splitting them in the same pan. So do I think that everyone needs it? Probably not. Is it a great product? Absolutely. It really comes down to personal preference. If you're looking for something that you can use every day, and if you want something that's very natural, this is definitely the product for you. Alrighty, well that's a wrap for this review and demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box below because I have tons of reviews and swatches of all the new products that are out at the drugstore right now, so you don't wanna miss any. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.